Hey, welcome back to my messy kitchen. So today I want to show you my uh, my tray divider. So right now we're looking at a 12 inch cabinet and that's measuring from the cabinet box itself. Um, doors is about eighth of an inch smaller. So from here to here would be 11 and 7 eighths uh, with a 12 inch cabinet. So um, at 12 inches, I usually put a partition in the middle uh, and these are removable if you really want to, but they're wedged in there pretty tight. Um, and as you can see, it fits a, quite a bit of cutting boards in. It's a nice one like this. Um, we're actually thinking about selling these online. Uh, but yeah, anyway, different story. So that's a standard uh, tray divider. I'm using it for cutting board, um, but that's what we call the cabinet, and that's 12 inches. So I think a lot of people have seen that before. Here, um, this is a 16 inch cabinet, and I call it the tray divider pullout. Um, we don't offer this yet as a standard item, but it is available for custom. Um, so what that is, is it's just a sta standard um, drawer construction. So we have, uh, in this case, I should, when I say standard, um, I mean this particular kitchen um, is ordered with solid wood dovetail maple. And so we're following that uh, with the same construction. And with a 16 inch cabinet dimension, uh, I'm able to fit about a five inch partition on the left, three inch here and three inch here. So um, that would be three and three, that's six, and then plus five, that's 11 inches. And then we got these um, thickness of the partition. So the drawer box itself, these are five eight solid wood maple. Um, you have four of those partitions. So you're just a little shy of three inches there. So we're at 14. Um, and then plus the thickness of the sides here. These are three quarter thick um, side panel, which makes for an uh, inch and a half together. And that's just about uh, 16 inches right there. Um, one thing I want to point out, um, I find this to be a little bit loud, um, not because of the hardware itself, but um, sometimes these pans tend to rattle when you pull them out. Um, so that's the only downside that I see. But other than that, I find it to be super convenient uh, to have these, uh, to be able to pull them out. And I do, um, I do have two ovens, so um, I put them, I put the baking pans right between. So pretty handy and convenient. Okay, thanks.